Hey guys, I'm back again for another video. Um, just gonna keep this short and simple. Well, not really. So basically, yesterday I was supposed to do what I'm bringing, but my braids took too long. So today I'm just going to do both of what I'm bringing and today's video of how I packed it and etc cetera, etc cetera. so let's get started uh, before I go into the video I just want to say subscribe below please and let's get to it okay so as far as what I brought um, I watch YouTube videos so of course my school provided me with the list but I didn't go completely off of that list because when I watch YouTube videos of moving day and what people brought and everything, a lot of people said I didn't need half of the stuff that the list gave me. So, you know, just listen to them. Save me some money and if I need it, I'll get it later. But anywho, so yeah, I mainly went off of YouTube and then I also went off of the things that I wanted for myself. So, that's a little bit of that. Um, nothing super special. I just got my desk supplies, my backpacks, and stuff like that. Stuff that everybody is going to get. And then a few things that specifically go to design my room. Okay, so as far as what I brought, um, I watch YouTube videos. So, of course, my school provided me with the list. But I didn't go completely off of that list because when I watch YouTube videos of moving day and what people brought and everything, a lot of people said I didn't need half of the stuff that the list gave me. So, you know, just listen to them. Save me some money and if I need it, I'll get it later. But anywho, so yeah, I mainly went off of YouTube and then I also went off of the things that I wanted for myself. So, that's a little bit of that. Um, nothing super special. I just got my desk supplies, my backpacks, and stuff like that. Stuff that everybody is going to get. And then a few things that specifically go to design. Okay, so I'm just going to like shoot a bunch of things at you really quickly. So, I can try to just move on with the video that was actually supposed to be for today. So of course I got a whole bunch of desk stuff. I got wall decor, not much wall decor. I mainly got desk decor. I got like three different forms of calendar. Like I got a planner, I got a desk calendar. And I think I have another calendar, who knows, whatever. Um, then of course I brought my shoes. I brought some of my clothes. I'm bringing my clothes by season because I'll be back uh, like winter break and fall break and spring break. So like I'll interchange those clothes so I won't overfill my closet or whatever not really what I would call a closet and then I got my bed stuff obviously lamps and other stuff like that I'll list more below I'll put my school list into the description so you guys can know more about like power surges and stuff like that. and for the actual thing for today so, take a look at what I have. And of course, I'm going to go more into it. But like, you know, I'm not going to show you what's inside of the boxes. Cause I already packed up the boxes with tape and everything like that. But, yeah. So, let's look into my first box, which is desk supplies. I actually can show you guys the inside of this box because it can't close because of my desk calendar. It is too big so let's take a okay, look so for this first box i'm just going to show you guys my dust supplies just kind of how i set it up and everything like that so let's get to that so basically i set up everything where i wrote it on the inside i just felt like that would be easier to organize everything you know but then i got like everything on the inside I got my desk decor got my sharpeners tape and everything like that and that's the desk calendar that I could not, uh, that wouldn't fit, so I couldn't close it. 
but yeah that's everything with that one um there's not much to this box but i just felt like writing it would be easier as far as like checking it off so i can check it off as i go by box instead of waiting until the end and i'm like do i have this do i have this oh wait i left this so i just feel like it's easier to write it out so yeah okay so now i'm on to my next box as you know the rest of the boxes are closed so i can't show you the inside but the inside basically looks like the desk supplies box it just has everything that goes on what's on the name of the box and then on the inside lid is written everything that's inside of the box so i can check off as i go so see here i have my technology box i have my shoes i have my dorm stuff i have my toiletries that's it for the what's it, brown boxes cardboard boxes that's what they're called cardboard boxes um but yeah so everything in the technology box is only technology strictly technology I promise there is nothing out of place. Shoes, only shoes, could only fit shoes. Uh, dorm stuff, that is just like stuff that goes around my door. Lights, uh, first aid kit, dishes, stuff like that, and then my toiletries. So now that we've finished the boxes, I wanna talk about my clothing. So I wanted to show you guys what I put my clothes in. So I put it in that bin right there under the toiletries and i thought it was super easy and which it is so far but we'll see once we get to my dorm but um basically i put everything that gets hung up on hangers put a rubber band around it put a trash bag over it and i laid it in the bin so that way when i get to my dorm all i got to do is put the the hangers in the closet cut the band take off the trash bag and that stuff is donezo so next I did my pajamas and stuff like that so of course I'm not going to hang up my pajamas so I didn't get to do it the right way I did the rest of my stuff so basically I'm wearing my pajamas I'm not gonna really do anything this week and I don't really have pajamas like that it's really just like t-shirts and yoga pants yeah so I've been wearing that and then since I don't have a dirty clothes hamper anymore because I'm leaving I just put it in the washing machine once I get done wearing it and I just wash it like very often I don't know why that's wasting water but I do it and then I just fold it and I pack it into my suitcase and I just go upon the pattern like that wear it wash it fold it and put it in that that's all I do. Super easy, super simple. So now I'm going to show you guys my backpack. This is my backpack. This is also a backpack, but that is not a school backpack. That is a gym backpack. But this is my school backpack. And in my school backpack is school supplies. Yes, too much, but I'll fix that once I get to my room. But you know, average stuff, pencils, binders, paper. Yeah, that's really it. There's nothing that really goes into that. A lot of the YouTubers said stuff like, oh, you don't really have to get like graphing paper or this type of stuff or that stuff. Just get some binders, some paper, some notebooks. And then if my teachers need more, I guess I gotta get it. So that's that and that's it for the backpack okay this is getting like super stressful and super long so i want to speed this up a tad bit this right here is my laundry deter my laundry basket it also has my rug in it and it has my broom and dustpan in it so i put all that i put a trash bag over it all because i don't want dog hair because i have a dog so i don't want dog hair in my rug and i don't want dog hair on my laundry hamp basket because it's fabric so yeah so i put a bag over it so dog hair would not stick to it and that's it that's in that then i have this bag right here and that has my pillows 
I have fuzzy pillows and I don't want to have dog hair on that because that's a pillow. So I packed that in bag. This one I'm just going to go show you guys like the rest of my stuff that I got. So basically I'm going to start with my comforter. So this right here is my comforter and right here is my mattress pad. I have a mattress topper but it's either in like this one or this one but I'm going for this one. Um, then I have my detergent. Yes, nice detergent. And I'll give you details in the description box. And then I have my water filter and my printer. That is really all I have for the rest of this stuff. Like I said, I'll give like a description. I mean, I'll give like everything in the description box. But... I think that's that. So at the beginning, I kind of went through it pretty fast about everything that I got. And I just want to take the time to go over it a tad bit more. I know I did it pretty fast. And I know I said I was going to put it in the description box, which I still am. But maybe you don't want to read. So I'm just going to speak it to you just to save you a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go box by box. And then I'll give you a little bit of advice, I guess. So, as far as my desk supplies box, I just got like, and I'm reading, so. I got a calendar, I got a file holder, I got a whiteboard, I got a stapler, tape, binder clips, and by the way, my tape is like a tape dispenser. Um, a plant, it's fake. Staples, obviously, scissors, paper clips, pencil holder, clip holder, photo, post it. So basically, I got a photo, a picture frame with post its attached to it because I didn't want to go and get picture frames. So I killed two birds with one stone. Then I got some letter decor, a water bottle, dictionary, thesaurus, stuff like that. Super easy, super chill. White out, pencil sharpener, plugins, sharpies, and file organizer. So that's it for that. now with technology. I'm kind of just going off the top of my head because I don't have the box open and I don't have my list with me to read some of the things that I got. But I know I got like a surge protector, you know, the things we can plug up multiple things. I got my chargers in there, like my laptop charger, my phone chargers, um, my Apple Watch is in there. I have a... What else is in there? Oh, I got a rechargeable batteries, and I got a rechargeable battery charger in there. I have... Hmm. It'll be in the list. It will be in the list at the bottom once I get time to really look and think about it. Because I don't know. So no, now I'm going to talk about my shoes. Um, I mean, everybody has different shoes. But some shoes that I think are definitely necessary. Um, I don't have rain boots, but I got to get rain boots. But definitely bring rain boots if it rains a lot where you are. Which... Apparently it does. Um, Birkenstocks. Just cute little stylish casual sandals that you can wear with something nice or you can wear with something simple. So yes, I recommend Birkenstocks. Then like a nice pair of chucks and white shoes, black shoes. Stuff like that. Maybe a few shoes that like go with special outfits. Like I brought a pair of boots and I bought some red I brought some red hirachis in there. So, stuff like that. But keep it super simple, but don't bring all your shoes. There's not room for that. Then there is my dorm stuff, as in my dorm stuff. Kind of just extra stuff that sits around, but doesn't fit around any of the other boxes. But um, I got one bowl, one plate, one um, cup. Um... I'm going to have one set of silverware. Then I have obviously 
uh, sponges to wash that stuff, soap to wash that stuff, and then I have, um, like three cans of Airwick, and, um, I have a first aid kit, I think that's it that's in that box, I didn't have that much stuff in that box at all, not at all. I brought with me a curling iron. I brought a curling iron. I brought a straightening iron. I'm bringing a straightening iron. Um, or flat iron, whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously, my deodorants. I bought a two pack of the, I don't know what you're going to call it, the bar, you know, the bar. The regular deodorant. And then I bought the thing of spray. Spray on deodorant. You know, gotta stay fresh. Um, then I bought soap, which I use Cetaphil once again. Um, then I got lotion, of course. Toothbrushes. My shower stuff, like my shower caddy, my, my scrubber, my towels, and washcloths. A whole lot of stuff. So, as you know, because I already told you, I got a water filter. It's an alkaline. Alkaline. It's a something. Water filter. And it's some, there's like some health benefits to it. I don't really know. I didn't really get it for that reason. I'm not going to lie about it. I got it because it's smarter than buying water bottles because I can just use tap water and then filter it. Not to mention that I don't drink out of water bottles. I have a water bottle. Well, let me rephrase. I have like the little cans. Not a can. I don't know what to call it. But yeah, I don't drink out of the plastic water bottles. So, I just got a water filter. Um, I like it. It was super cheap. $10. Amazon. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. So then there's my printer. Don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. I can't provide you much information. I know nothing. Nothing at all. Don't let these glasses fool you. I know nothing. All I can tell you is that it is a Canon Pixma MG 2522. I guess that's what you want to call it. Yeah. It's that kind of printer. It copies, prints, scans, stuff like that. That's all I know. I can't even tell you the price. Because I got like a 50% off sale. So this printer was like like 19 bucks since I got it for 50% off at Walmart. Because it's closing by my house. So yeah. That's all I can say. That's all I can tell you about it. That's really it. And I don't even know if it works well to recommend it. So Then my bin that I told you about. Yes. That was 10 bucks at Walmart. I was so happy it was cheap because some of the ones that I've seen were expensive. So yeah, super cheap. It's small, three drawers, it rolls. You can't see that it has wheels on it because the wheels are not on it right now. The wheels are inside, but <clears throat> it rolls. Once again, it's cheap. Yeah, that's it for that. And I have my laundry detergent now i had a friend and she told me that i'll need two of the large ones and i'm just like two large ones which large one are you referring to so she was talking about like the ones that are shaped like a gallon of orange juice you know with the handle and stuff like that she wasn't talking about this one so it turns out you only need one of this and obviously price varies from brand to brand but Arm & Hammer it smells so good it smells so good and this was only 11 bucks so they have a smaller one it's not much smaller it's still this well not still this big but this one is 224 uh, ounces the other one is 210 ounces and it's a dollar a little over a dollar less it's nine something this one was 11 something so check it out now, I'm going to talk about my bed stuff, but I'm not going to go into detail because it all varies. Like, it's different at every place, and 
you might want to get more pillows than I got. Maybe you want to get less pillows than I got. So, I'm not going to go into, like, major detail of it. Because that's pointless. But I got my bed set from... Where did I get it from? Target. It was 50 bucks. It was amazing. It's beautiful. But yeah, I got it from Target. It was 50 bucks. Then I got a mattress pad that was... 20 bucks and then I got a mattress topper that was 20 bucks I got like six pillows and like three of them are decor oh no four of them are decorative pillows so yeah I'm not gonna use those but then I have oh yeah that's it for my bed stuff um, I didn't go big on my bed so yeah quick tip about like bed stuff and everything like that I got mine from Target for 50 bucks. Now, I didn't find mine at Walmart. By the way, this is all online. But I didn't find mine at Walmart for a cheaper price. But there was a bed set that I was going to originally get. And I found it at Target for 50 bucks as well. And then my best friend found it for like, I think she said like 20 bucks at Walmart. So, if you find a bed that you like... Copy and paste that name, and you can search it through Amazon. You can search through Walmart, Target, maybe even Bed Bath & Beyond. Just search around for that bed set because you can find it for cheaper prices. I got lazy, and I had a Target gift card, so I just figured just get it from Target. But I would have definitely got it cheaper from other places. So I'm just going to go over just a few more items not a lot of items and then I'll be basically done but I got a hamper got a big hamper I was told to get a big hamper so that way I won't have to do laundry often I'll let you guys know if that's good advice or not it might be it might not be um then I got a broom and dustpan I got hard floor that may or may not work for you I don't know I don't know um then I got a rug once again hard floor it gets cold so, yeah, stepping on that, that was like 30 bucks at Ross. Oh, and the broom, the broom was like 14 bucks at Marshall's. And I think that's it, actually. Yeah, that's it for that stuff. I lied to you. There is more stuff. I have cleaning supplies. So, of course, you got to clean your dorm before you put your stuff in it, because if you don't, that's gross. Um, so yeah, you have to clean and wipe down stuff in your dorm before you go in it. You don't want dust and all that stuff on your new stuff. And then, not only that, I mean, some people may do this. Not everyone. I know I'm going to do this. But every once in a while, also just wipe things down, get dust off of everything. It's a small room, and not only is it a small room, but you only get half of it. So, it's only going to take a few minutes just to wipe everything down and make sure that everything is clean for you. So, just do that. Like Clorox wipes and stuff like that. Just saying. Just saying. 